Fragrance King. What's up, everybody? I'm back. I don't know if you guys ever seen this or heard of it or smelled it. But the 212 VIP Carolina Herrera. Mmm. I just bought this a couple months ago. When I went to Mall of America with my ex-girlfriend, I smelled everything in the mall. And this was in Perfume Mania, I think. And this was on a card in my back pocket. The next day, I, I smelled everything, and I, this stuck to me. I was like, hmm. I love it. I, lo I was like, this is one. Yeah, what is this? I went back the next day and sprayed it on skin, and I was like, okay, because it reminds me. It reminded me of something. And what it is is it, re it resembles Paco Rabanne One Million. So Paco Rabanne One Million came out in two thousand eight, I think. And this uh, 212 VIP came out in 2011. And uh, this is in the same category as that uh, Paco Rabanne 1 million club category. It's made by a pooch, which makes Paco and Carolina Herrera and those kind of Invictus y sense. So the more I sit with this, it reminds me of. It reminds me of everything. It just depends on the temperature. So then I came home. I had to get a bottle. I ordered a tester from Fragrance Net. This bottle is made in Spain. And I think it's a blue fragrance. Everything's blue on the inside of this bottle. It says tester right here. You can't see it. It's so small. But it, it pounds. So there's reviews saying that it's been it's been reformulated and it's weak and it, it's been out for 10 years so it's definitely been reformulated but this is a beast on my skin and the more i sit with it the more i like it and it resembles one million a little bit i get that i get that because it reminded me of something right off the initial spray for the first time i've ever smelled it, i was like mm. but this has a pepper note in it it's more of like a more manly I would think a little bit more manly, uh, one million. But then the more I wear it in high heat, the more it reminds me of Invictus. And it has like this Invictus -y one million kind of a smell to it with that pepper. And then it lasts and it's it's good. It's it's good and it evolves on the skin a little bit. And if you like Invictus, you probably like this. And I, I would choose this over one million. One million is good too, but. The one million I'm spraying in the stores doesn't last and I can never justify buying a bottle even though I want a bottle. The new formulations of one million never, they don't last on my skin at all. I like the Parfum but it's not the same as the original, the original is the best. So three years apart, under Pooch, from Carolina Herrera, we got um, Top notes are passion fruit, lime, pepper, and ginger. Middle notes are vodka, gin, mint, spices, and base notes are amber, leather, woodsy notes. So it has a similar base and similar, a lot of similar notes to 1 million, but it has that different opening. It doesn't have the blood mandarin, and 1 million does. The grapefruit, it's got that passion fruit, lime, and pepper. And you can smell the pepper, and the more you sit with it, the more you get that pepper. It's like a peppery. No cinnamon, because cinnamon's in one million. It's like a peppery, a um, little bit different fruit. That vodka and gin just adds a little bit of something to it. Uh, class, they say it's a club scent. It could be in any time scent. The more I sit with it, the more I'm like, this is a summertime scent that I really like. And it's just there, and it reminds me of the Havas I just got. It reminds me of Invictus. It reminds me of One Million. It's just a peppery, better version, and it just sits there on the skin. It's good quality, and this is a tw uh, EDT. And this is an EDT. So I think I got this for 60 bucks. This is a new formulation. This is a brand new. I, I've only had this bottle for three months. So I've only been sitting with this for, you know, probably like five wears, six wears. And now that it's summer and high heat, I've been waiting for it to bust it out. And it has an old school smell to it too. It takes me back to like arcade games, arcade arenas when I was young, younger. Like it's the kind of smell, that's the kind of visuals I get immediately when I smell it. But the more I wear it, the more I just have appreciation for it. It reminds me of the Havas, the Victus, one million. And so another blue, another blue banger. That's over, 
you know, doesn't it's not talked about anymore. You know, it's not on anybody's radar, and it's good. Youthful scent. This could be a little bit youthful, a little bit youthful, but has that pepper to it. If you like Invictus and you like Havas, then you're gonna like this for sure. If you like One Million, do you like this? And so, this has the power too. This has the performance. So this is a good, good fresh and clean scent for sure. So summertime scent. So throwing it out there. Anything else? all ages yeah it could be a young kid fragrance you know but it could be in the right heat it could be any it's just a freshie uh, has that pepper so it's in that category where some people are like invictus is for young little 16 year old boys but then just you know if you like it you like it and it, the ladies like it too and it just depends on your temperature your atmosphere where you're at who you are as a person and how your skin is but this pounds this pounds and projects. Pepper dies off a little bit. It just gets into that base that reminds me of all of those colognes mixed together. And I have appreciation for it. It's like a more grown up version. I would say more grown up than the the Havas. The, the Havas. People are like, the Havas is for young people. Invictus is for young people. Well, this is just like a step up from the Invictus and the Havas. Just that pepper, just a little bit, a little bit more. But I remember, remember reading some stuff. Yeah, like people used to go out to the bars when they're 21. So club scent reminds them of them going out to the bars. But could be anything. Just a nice summertime scent. 100 degrees outside. You're in Florida fishing. Who knows? Anything like that. But, uh, I oh don't know. That's just a review on this. That's my take on 212. Just want to throw it out there for another potential you know, summertime freshie that's cheap. You can get a tester bottle for 60 bucks, 100 mils. I think they have 50 mils too for cheaper, 50 bucks. But, uh, you have to browse the internet. I'm just saying that the new formulations are good on my skin. A plus. Projection, normal. Sits with you all day. Um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think about this. I can bounce some ideas off each other. But I'm out. See you. Fragrance King.